Hi, this is Tomka Travels, and today we are in Provence. Provence is a region in southern France known for its swathing lavender fields in summer and the soap and perfume they make from it. Avignon. On Adore! Avignon is a medieval city that holds a unique title of being the only place outside Rome ever to have housed a pope. For 68 years in the 14th century, the popes decided this little French city was a much better place to live. The bridge of Avignon isn't really a bridge, it's more like a walkway into the middle of the river. Well, it did go all the way across originally. Jeremy, what do people traditionally do on the bridge of, of Avignon? The dance. Go on then. Arles is a picturesque Roman town which centres around its impressive Colosseum. Marseille. On Adore! Marseille is France's second biggest city. Sitting on the southern coast, it is also the biggest port in the country and one of the biggest on the Mediterranean Sea. The main attraction in Marseille is the Notre Dame de la Garde, which is a beautiful cathedral sitting on a hill. It's beautiful, but the thing is, to get to it, you've got to climb up there. And Marseille is very, very hilly. Sitting on the highest point in the city, Notre Dame de la Garde is an imposing structure built in the 19th century. Annoyingly, we trekked all the way to the top to find it shut because it was a Sunday. Which was great. local delicacy from this region is a fougas. Can you explain, Jeremy, what that is exactly? Well, it's like a, a bread with all sorts of fillings inside. So mine is roquefort, mm -hmm. cheese and nuts. You've got olives. You can have all sorts. You can have ham, salmon, whatever. Mm -hmm. How's it's yours? Very tasty. Oh, it's so fit. Yeah. One of the biggest attractions is Musem, a large museum that charts the history of Marseille as well as other Mediterranean cities. It explores how this sea led to great wealth in the past, but how today it is synonymous with migration and feats of great heroism. And then, up on the roof, take a look at these spectacular views. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't great, so we were unable to take the boat to Marseille's famed prison, Chateau d'If, which sits on an island in the bay. There's a name for the wind in the south of France, isn't there? There is indeed. What's it called? Le Mistral. It's quite strong today. To be fair, no, it's not. Do you not think? No, it's quite strong. So we're in the south of France. Uh, it's October. Uh, we were expecting it to be glorious sunshine the entire time that we're here. Uh, so far, weather hasn't been great, to be honest. And back in Manchester, the sun's been out. Typical, isn't it? Sisteron. On Ador. And we're wet. Sisteron is a remarkable little town that straddles the river Durance, a short drive north into the southern Alps. In a gorge between two peaks, you have this spectacular geological formation on one side and a castle sitting on top of the other. The citadel sits high above the river and is one of the most vertically challenging castles we've ever been to. Honestly, it just keeps going up level after level until you end up on a walkway high in the sky. It's spectacular. Whenever you're in a museum, you need a companion cat to follow you around everywhere you go. Come on, man. 
little Sissy. We've called her. Hi, Sissy. She really wants to. I love her. She's leading the way. Oh, she knows the way out. I think you can do better than that. I think you can probably get a nicer coat, maybe a nice frilly hat. Maybe like the general over here, who's got this lovely frilly little hat over. Uh, this one's got this lovely little rosette. Maybe you could wear a rosette, perhaps, uh, with some frills, some epaulettes. Uh, black and white classic combination, lots of gold. Love what you're doing, gentlemen. This, however, is drab, boring. You can do better. Sorry. Oh my God, this is fabulous. Well done. Driving through the mountains, we head to one of France's most popular tourist spots, except most people go in the summer and not in the pouring rain. Les Gorges du Verdon. On adore! The gorge is known for its beautiful pale blue water. Which, obviously, we did not see as the rain had brought mud into what should have been a crystal clear river. However, the gorge goes back for miles and the drive through it is really something special. Even though the roads are the bendiest have ever driven. Describe the Gorge du Verdun in one word, please. Gorgeous. Uh, let's see what you did there. Is it better than the Cheddar Gorge? Mm, yes. Are you sure? Uh, well, the Cheddar Gorge is full of tarmac and cars that are parked at the bottom of it and people scrambling up the sides of it. Um, so You've yes, got cheese. there is cheese. There's no cheese in there? We're in France, there's always <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Driving in France, how are you finding it, Jeremy? Stressful. <laughs> What's been the worst thing about it? No, it's been all right. Genuinely, it has been all right. Yesterday was probably, no, no, actually, yesterday was actually okay. The worst was driving in uh, Marseille, the second biggest city of France. Uh, they drive like look, lunatics. So. And how did you find driving in torrential rain? We've not been blessed with the weather this holiday mm, so far. No, so the Gorge of Verdun was quite difficult, uh, but it's been, it's been all right to see I hacked it. Heading south again, we came down from the mountains to see this spectacular view out towards Nice and the Côte d'Azur. Stunning. Grâce. On adore! Our final stop before we hit the French Riviera, Grasse is a town centred around the perfume industry. Housing numerous perfume factories that go back centuries, this beautiful town sits surrounded by thousands of acres of flowers, which are harvested and used in the creation of these beautiful scents. Grasse is known as the perfume capital of the world, producing 60% of France's scents and housing the famous noses, or les nez, whose job it is to compose the beautiful perfumes. Marseille smelt like bins and sewage, um, but grass is like completely different. It smells like flowers and roses and soap and uh, perfume and aftershave and, and the entire town smells like it. Um, it's beautiful. Finish my sentence. French patisserie is... Delicious. No trip to Grasse would be complete without a trip to a perfume factory and we chose Fragonard, right in the centre of the town. There, a guide will take you through the process of making perfume, from the collection of its ingredients right until it arrives in the store. It's fascinating, completely free of charge, and there's absolutely no way you'll walk out of that shop without purchasing one of their spectacular creations. Which eau de toilette did you go for? I went for the Valentin. Valentin. What's it smell like? It smells lovely. Fresh? Yeah, fresh, citrus, woody, love it. And then what did I go for? Uh, did you go for the eau de seducteur? I did indeed. You did, did you? Because, you know, I wanted to seduce people with it. Yeah. 
While we didn't get to see the famed lavender fields in bloom, there's so much more to Provence than just that. A beautiful region of ancient towns, rustic landscape and stunning scents, this is a little slice of heaven only two hours from the UK. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. At Through My Quirky Eyes. And make sure you tune in next time where we will be in... The French Riviera, continuing up the coast as far as Monaco. Wonderful. Until next time, folks. See ya.